Okay, the video stopped accidentally. Fucking hand touch it. Alright, back again. Alright, these connectors are one fit each. Here it can be mixed up. Like I said, this one it can fit in that right here. But it will fit over here. See that? So when you're going to do this thing, it can't be made a mistake here. It can't be fit, so you see. So this one go over here. And then we draw about this thing right here and lock it. We put this one here, it fit perfectly. Oh, we have to release this. I think this, top, this thing at the top has to be sunk. Oh, let me see. Alright, so we pull that and we just. This is a new FEMB new install, so we just put that there. Let me pause this video. Okay, so I put up the new FEM. There it goes, everything solid. And the light. Turn on this now. Oh, it seems like the key doesn't recognize this bitch. Like the key does not recognize here, you see. I'm gonna put the key right here. No problem. I said, put the key right here until it's been recognized. Let me pause the video for now. This is uh, this is the old uh, FEM module. This doesn't look burnt, as you can see. There's no burnt mark in this thing. There's no water damage, corrosion in it. There's no water damage here, but yeah. the guy is a key programmer, said so it has to be changed. He probably can't talk to it, but probably he has. But I do not know why. But as far as I'm concerned, where the key is at, this is not being recognized. I'm gonna have to, um, this can't be recognized. That with the new yeah. key, it didn't even work. All right, bro. All right, I didn't know, man. I was confused. I was confused. That one is burnt inside. It won't bro. read no key, no nothing, bro. I was confused. Okay, man. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Now turn the ignition on. Alright, All right, cool.
establish connection connection lost Let me pause the video. All right, connection is back. So we can execute measures plan now. All right, let us, in, let us go ahead and execute measures plan. Wow, the connection gone again. create a new connection alright pause video for now ok what we do now vehicle details finish read out as you can see we have 147 codes we go here click on display file code and we can scroll down and look for uh, the FEM it's gonna say something like the FEM not coded This is one of them, the central gateway is in the FEM, no flex ray initialization. So we have to uh, scroll down. Alright, to replace control unit, we'll go click on that tab right here. It's gonna calculate measures plan. We're gonna pass on now until it's finished. And then after that we will select uh, FEM that tell Easter D plus that we replaced the FEM module. We pass for now. As we go, see we're back. So we uh, look for the front electronic module. Here's it right here in this line. We click on this and we display measure plan. Then we calculate measure plan. By the way, my viewers, subscribers, this I'm lucky to have this car, the eye level that we get this car from the auction. It was at eye level 2016 of March. And uh, luckily we have Easter P uh, version 3.6.4, which matches to Easter D 4.05.30. So we could have used this uh, P3.61.4 to do this job. All right, the plane is coming. I'm going to pause this video. All right, I'm going to execute measure plan now. We'll click right here. All right, after this connect the wireless LAN, whenever you get this information, you will go here, click on the home key. If it's the block of the screen, click on the Windows home key and pull up that and then we go here to the Wi-Fi connection right click that we're going to turn out the wireless card uh, it assumes that we're going to program stuff to it show available networks oh let me turn out this we go forward let's just go again You click on before replacement and uh, we go here front electronic module display measure plan we will calculate and we pause this video for now so it comes up with this you said that remove FEM and then we click execute measure plan 
We pause video for now. All right, they're saying here that we should, um, you know, all data carriers must be removed. And then I checked that already. Make sure that there's no CD in the car. Make sure that there's no CD in the car. Oh, here's one. Okay. Luckily, I get this one. The check also, if there's any USB. There's no USB. Alright. You see these in it, it can cause a jam. Alright, we're gonna make sure that the door is gonna be closed. Alright, so we have to make sure that the door is closed and this bullshit doesn't give me any more problems, man. Um So the voltage is above 15. Oh, I don't care. The battery voltage is over level of 15. Reduce the voltage. Okay, yeah. I will. All right. Let me turn on the little light. Oh, the fun. Let me turn on this bullshit. Turn up this. Turn that up just to drop the voltage. All right, close the operation. I'm going to start another operation. We click on this and we create a complete vehicle identification, create a new operation, we create a new session. Go forward, let me pause video again. All right, so we just highlight this and then we click on here, set up new connection. Let us pause this video again. All right, it is creating a measure span for software update. And then we're gonna execute measure span when it's finished. In the meantime, I'm gonna put the phone on charge.